Players, they are just saying their prayers. Let's have a quick look at the starting lineups St. Mary's first, Jabali Doyle, there's Mikai Pascal, Marley Callender, Darius Humphrey, Isaiah Morris, Aaron McLeod, Raul Aguilera Nunes, Dusan Cooper, Kyle Phillip, the skipper Ryan Radeland, uh, Elijah Wong, and the coach Michael Grayson. Let's have a look at the formation. Well, it's a 4 3 3. Look for Humphrey. Boyd by his stint with the New York Red Bulls over the summer to provide the width going up the left-hand side. And, of course, Kyle Phillip leads the line for a St. Mary's College. A hat-trick in his last game. I expect him to be gunning for more goals. And the Naparima College lineup, of course, they start uh, Tyrese Romain in goal. There's Antonio Hills, Jaron Pascal, Josiah Cooper, Jawan uh, Bailey, Tyrell Rajun, Rajun, Akil Vespri, Tevin Panta, Darian Hernandez, Zachary Sicharan, and Jabari Forbes, the coach, Travis Mulrain. Let's look at their formation. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation. Expect Pascal and Rajun to sit. Cooper leads the line in the back, an experienced campaign, of course, having a stint with Club Sando during the Caribbean Club Championship, recently concluded one. Of course, the result, he'll not be quite happy with the performance, though. As we have some of the highlights, it was Naparima who got things going first. Vespri with the early opportunity, then Kai Phillip with this one on one opportunity. He had many things on his mind, uh, none of them being uh, the right decision. But then uh, it was a moment of magic in the 37 minute. In fact, that's a save there by Rad Radelant. A long range shot, good save by Doyle. Another, another good save there by Doyle. The Panto there. Using his, his, his foot to keep it out. And this was the moment of magic. Ryan Radelant came inside. What a finish. The St. Mary's. He hit it beautifully. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. From the time he cut in, you knew where that ball was going. He hit it beautifully. That was a superb goal. Yeah, the Raza Taza was rumbling here at the St. Mary's College ground. But before the halftime whistle, here came the response. Pascal, what a finish. Clinical, composed, and uh, beautiful. He brought his team level. And if that will, was good, this one was even better. Vespi winning the first battle against Humphrey. And then Topo can it pass the keeper to make his, put his team up two goals to one. The goal was beautiful. The celebration was even better. Yep, there he goes. And then the second half started, and you felt that 2-1 uh, uh, if Naprim were to go ahead. But uh, St. Mary's, again, being a little unlucky here, the post, Gordon. Yeah, they had the opportunity to pull things level. You miss at one end, and there's a thumping header. Good save there by Doyle. But when you miss at one end... You made a pay at the other. A beautiful one, too. Took it well, Francis. Anya Francis. Remember the name. He banged it into the back of the net. And at this point, the Naparima College team was sailing here in Port of Spain. And a penalty? I know you had your doubts, but what a... That was an awful penalty, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. My word. And Humphreys here with a beautiful ball in the area. Kyle Phillip face to react. He banged it home. 84 minutes on the clock. And with six minutes to go, all to play for. But in the end, Naparima, they could not, I mean, St. Mary's, they could not find their way back. And Naparima wins this one. Three goals to two. Yes, certainly Naparima comfortable. Let's have a quick look at the stats there. Shot 17 to 9. And then shots on target, 10 for Naprima, 5 St. Mary's, fouls 10 to 5. The yellow cards, 3 for Naprima, uh, none for St. Mary's, no red cards. Offside, 3 to uh, Naprima. There were 5 corners to 11 corners from Naprima. Again, they dominated. And then St. Mary's, 7 saves by Doyle as opposed to 3 by uh, Tyrese Romain in the Naprima uh, goal. Surprisingly, the possession, 53% for St. Mary's, 47% for Naparima, but that statistic right at the top there in green, that's the most important one. Naparima 3, St. Mary's uh, 2.
So that is the stats. We're going to go down now to Hans. He's got the man of the match with him. Thank you very much, Colin Murray. Thank you very much, Gordon. Congratulations, Jaron Pascal. Here is your trophy. Man of the match today. Your goal put Naparima back in the game. What was going through your mind at that point in time, 42 minutes into the game? Well, it's just about hard work, you know. I just wanted to level off the game, to go into the half, to give yourself a good chance in the second half. And that's what I did. All right, what can we expect from Naparima College for the rest of the season? We can expect big things from Naparima. Just continue our winning form going forward and we'll be good. Thank you very much, John Pascal. Congratulations to you. Right now, we join Brent Sancho with our coaches here at St. Mary's Grounds in St. Clair. We have Coach Grayson here with Brent Sancho. Thank you very much, Hans. Coach Grayson, obviously a disappointing result. You had a couple of chances in the first half. Maybe you should have put away. What's your assessment of the 90 minutes plus? That's right. Well, I tell you what, um, coming up against a team like this, Three two. I was. Uh, I thought a draw might have been a better uh, um, result, but we played. We played pretty well. We played pretty well. Bits and pieces, yes, but we played pretty well, as you said. We should have gone up two 0 in the first half. That wasn't to be. That's how football is played. They came off to one. We managed to get it back to three two, and you know. So so it's uh, coming from playing uh, well a game Wednesday, you know, and then coming here now to play against really tough opposition. Uh, we know it will not be easy. Well, of course, in the second half, uh, the, the, the tempo that you set in the first half dipped a little bit. Of course, the humidity may have played a part. Uh, what are the, some of the things that you look at moving into your, your, ga your next game of the season? Well, I'll tell you what. Coming into the, the season, one of the weakest points was the goalkeeper. Well, when I say goalkeeper, goalkeepers, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And this young man today, I mean, he, he justified his place now on the team. Um, we, the mid midfield... Since last year we're coming off, we're not always as tough as we're supposed to be, but we're learning. And um, I, I, I think that will go well for us in the next few games. I was telling the other guy, there's 13 games to go. 13 <laughs> games to go. Not all 13 games will be like naps. <laughs> so. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best to you to the rest of the season. Great. Of course, uh, Coach Travis Marie, now the winning coach uh, this afternoon. Coach, a tale of two halves. <laughs> What's your assessment? Definitely, definitely. Well, you have to give credit to CIC. You know, they, they battle till the end. I think that this result is a blessing in disguise because coming off a 10-0 victory, guys can get a bit complacent. And I think that's my biggest challenge this year is to, to battle that complacency, especially off the field. Well, you, in particular, the middle of the park, Rajun and Pascal, the man, eventual man of the match, look very solid. But there seemed to be a, a little lack of creativity somewhere in along the lines of Naparima College. Is that something you're a little bit concerned about? Well, not really. I think they, they overcomplicated the game at times. You know, too many touches. Two touches would have done the job. They took three and four. My wingers, they were constantly picking up the ball at the half line and dribbling. You know, those are some of the things that we need to eliminate from their game. Simplify the game, simple, quick football, and I think we will get the job done. Thank you very much, uh, Travis, My and pleasure. all the best.